Welcome to the Zen Zone. We have a safety gear meeting here. Safety gear. I'm going to go over some of my favorite safety gear and talk about some safety gear that you should absolutely have. Uh, first off, it looks like we have a unfortunate accident and we have a video of this. He's kind enough to pro provide his dash cam. We're going to go over that real quick and analyze his writing. Um, I'm not pr quite sure how to pronounce the name, but thank you so much for posting this. A lot of people, when they crash, they're afraid to post their crashes um, because people like me are probably going to analyze it. And I have to do it for safety reasons, all right? So first off, it's kind enough, not kind enough, but I'm thankful that he posted about he broke his ankle and he admits that these shoes are not the best. I think these are Vans. I've actually gotten an argument with somebody on Facebook about about these shoes. I don't think they're good shoes at all for riding. I think they're some of the worst shoes, especially for like EUC riding. It's just horrible. I think it's the worst, not the worst, but it's definitely not a good shoe. It doesn't help you in any way. I think it's horrible. And they were actually criticizing me for being weak because I like to wear ankle support. And yeah, I mean, our ankles, I was gonna show my ankle, but our ankles are pretty weak, right? And especially if you're not like a, if you don't do like a lot of squats or anything like that, or a lot of agility exercises, your ankles are weak and so are your wrist, right? That's why we wear wrist guards. There's no ankle guards except for the shoes that you wear. Your shoes are your ankle guards. Vans are not acceptable in my opinion. Should not ride with Vans. Poor guy broke his ankle. Oh, it feels pain. I hurt my ankle on my MCM5 when I wasn't wearing the proper shoes. Uh, and even if you are still, I'm not saying proper shoes can actually stop an ankle break, but they will help. They will absolutely help. Will it stop it? It's hard to say, you know, on the impact and everything right now. So we're going to go over the shoes I like. And I actually have a video that I'll post uh, uh, here. These are mine. These are... These are military type boots. You can lace them up. They're super comfortable. I love them. They didn't look too good on the webcam right there. I'll show some, I'll put like an Amazon overlay here and then I'll show some cycle gear boots. I went to the cycle gear store the other day and we'll show some boots here. What I recommend, what I don't recommend, definitely not the Vans. Do not use the Vans. If you are an EUC rider, get something with ankle support. All right, now let's get into the riding camera. Let's analyze here what happened. Okay, he, he was saying this car right here is going to merge into his lane. And it's going to be right here where he's sandwiched between these two cars. So you can see this car comes over and it scares him. He loses balance, falls down, ankle broken. His EUC's in the middle of the street. His ankle's broken. He tries to one leg hop over to it to grab it, you know, to clear the street, trying to do the right thing. Man. Looks like he has Clark pads on there, so that's good. That His EUC looks fine, but man, his ankle's busted. He's trying to get the EUC off the side of the road, but his ankle's freaking broken. Can you imagine this situation? Your ankle's broken, and you're trying to get your EUC off the road. <laughs> man, all right. Now, for the kind of like, guys, don't ride in traffic. I'm not saying this guy's a new rider, but to me, he looks like an absolute uh, new rider because there's two things you could have done differently here. There's so much space here. Look how much space is here, right? Is this before the car? Yeah, let's go a bit before that. Okay. So right here, this car starts to come. You could easily kind of like... Don't be afraid to go on the sidewalk. There's no... There's no... You wouldn't even have to curb up right here. Oh, this car's swerving. Shoop. Kind of come around to the right. Oh, I don't know if you could see that. Maybe we need to go into it. Okay. We just got rid of the webcam there. So right here, you see the car starting to come over. And there's not even a car really close behind. So you could just break and either go onto the sidewalk here, go on the sidewalk. He's not going fast at all. Or the car didn't even cross the line. But Oh, yeah, it did cross the line here. The biggest thing, too, is visibility. You're riding at night. You need, like, some orange stuff on or some yellow. And even then, I'm not afraid to ride on sidewalks. Like, if they're open... And there's a lot of traffic i'll hop on the sidewalk i don't like there's no shame in that and you just take it easy it's all about risk and reward like you don't need to stay in the bike line if it's nighttime there's low visibility is low who knows what night this is people are drinking whatever it's better just to stay on the sidewalk and take it easy if you're commuting there's no need to stay in the bike lane and plus right here i mean there's just plenty of opportunity for him like right here 
it could have just kind of eased eased over here and just stayed on the uh, outer end of the bike lane here so guys do not ride in traffic if you don't have at least like 500 to a thousand miles on your euc in a safe area it's super easy to i feel like he like just i'm not saying it's his fault because this car definitely like pressured him but that's gonna happen and if you don't know how if you don't have like strategies to deal with it you're gonna get hurt and there just seems like there's so much room here where he could have played instead of uh freaking out so I i'm i hope he heals fast i'm sorry to criticize but i must put on put out so that others don't make this mistake you see riding in traffic is no joke you can die people have died riding in traffic and uh it's not safe at all i mean it's super safe if you're experienced and you know what you're doing like i would have just stayed on the sidewalk or like veered over but i have a lot of experience i have 20,000 miles on my ucs so uh yeah guys be safe out there make sure your buddy's being safe i'm thankful he's wearing his protective gear just not the shoes the shoes you know are very important all right next piece of safety gear let's get into it all right next piece of gear i purchased this is on may 13th <laughs> this fanny pack here all right i know fanny packs aren't like hip or fashionable or whatever but man the reason i got it is because i kept breaking my lower ribs i've broken my lower ribs twice for some reason when i crash my body type i hit my lower ribs and they break easy they're tiny and they break easy so i was like man i need something to like stop the impact from hitting my ribs and boom i saw this i was like man this thing is going to do it and i tested it out yesterday was that my crash yesterday my crash yesterday tested out in my crash phenomenal check out the damage on this all right i'll just show up i'll put up some pictures of it um quite a bit of damage it took that would have been my ribs my balls my hip i mean it kind of went off to the side and covered my hip because i have it loose which was perfect so man i i can't recommend this piece of gear enough plus you can just put your stuff in there you know you put your like camera gear in there or whatever you need to really can't recommend this enough um yeah, and also another piece of safety gear that I recommend is some kind of chest protection. I actually have this one here. I have the Hard Shell Elite, and then I have this. I have, what is this? What brand is this? Speed, uh, Troy Lee Designs. Uh, I don't even think this one was too much, and I actually prefer this one to the Hard Shelled one. And if I'm racing, I wear both of them. Like if it's a competitive situation or a high risk situation, I wear both of them. I have no shame. Yeah, I look a little bit bulky, but I'm already skinny, so I don't look. It actually, probably makes me look normal size. But uh, I I like this. It's got foam. The only thing I screwed up was that kind of messed up. There's padding in the shoulder. And when I was washing it, that padding came out right here. I don't know what happened to it. And that's actually the shoulder I hit yesterday. That's hurting. So if I had left that pad in there, I don't think my shoulder would be hurting as bad. It would probably still feel something, but it wouldn't be hurting as bad. So. That's some safety gear tips for you. Feel free to let me know what safety gear you guys recommend. Definitely, to recap, recommend some kind of ankle protection. And the only ankle protection you can get is shoes, support, uh, many different kinds. You know, I showed you the military boots, some cycle, some things you get at cycle gear. You don't want too thick. There's like a happy, uh, happy medium with these shoes. You don't want too thick. You don't want uh, too, too thin, all right? So that's it for this video, a little safety gear video. I hope you enjoyed. I'll put some links below. And until next time, stay in the Zen Zone.